Metal Gear Rising Sons of Delivery and DiGiorno is my favorite political and economic simulator, well intended to teach the player the basics of price slashing and how to best divide the country as quickly as possible. The answer, of course, is manually. In this visually engaging stock market index, we play as Jack the Wood Chipper, a man, probably, on a quest to renew the job market one life at a time. So if you've seen part one of my philosophically charged video essay on the deep and interesting Metal Gear lore, which I totally understand, then welcome back. And if you're viewing this series for the first time, well, that's technically okay. You're just gonna be more confused than an American at a salad bar. Last time on Metal Gear Raisin, Guns of the Priests. But as for now, our protagonist, Raiden with Biden, is forced to argue with a decapitated head about memes. That's not made up, I know the rest is made up, but that's genuine- Apple bottom jeans, Raiden. What? Boots with the fur. <laughs> Fresh off his adventures to the orange dimension and the insides of American police, it's up to our hero to avenge Obama's death through the slaughter of the unmelanated, learning the true meaning of based through many trials, tribulations, and his guest seat at the Joe Rogan podcast, finally finding himself at the entrance to Amazon warehouses with manageable stab wounds. Ugh, damn it, I need a token black person. What the fuck? Key and Peel, this blood loss has made me delirious. Tell me a story. There once was a sign on Holy shit. Raiden heads into the hotel lobby hosted by Mr. Mosby. After which, the game sends the ATF to stop me from freeing the Second Amendment. I am forced to take matters into my own hands. This was back when turret sections were the pinnacle of game design. Excuse me, fellas, I'm just heading to this normal-sized elevator. Raiden, I'm playing another gotcha game, okay? Please destroy all records of my credit card debt before the police come. Welcome, one and all across, to a classic stealth game named Metal Gear Solid 2. We're currently undergoing a secret mission to destroy Scandalous Snake. Raiden, we, we have to prevent Joe Biden's America. You have to stop him. You're too late, Corn Pop. I have already vocoded your voice to Gangster's Paradise. We use our Batman vision to carefully locate the bank records and also the rocket launcher. This puzzle is a great way to simulate the real office experience if you work for Blizzard. So after expunging the records of Overwatch 2, Raiden runs through fucking Black Friday. This makes Vietnam look like clown college. We even have Richard Nixon. As you can see, the situation has escalated. I'm alive! I'm a Huey, and I'm coming! What is up, gamers? Maxor here, and today we're gonna be entering the, um, the, the... What the fuck? So it turns out that Bezos is a real big fan of Japanese culture. Like, a really big fan of Japanese culture. To the extent that he filled this building with ninjas. Don't worry, they still use rockets. The decor is so goddamn oriental it's killing dolphins. Raiden traverses the Hidden Leaf Village with the DK crew and enters the first elevator built and designed with elephants in mind, or just your mom. On which we fight a gauntlet of enemies for several minutes as I reenact my trips to the Humane Society. You will never catch me, nor will you find the weapon. How tall is this fucking building? This is half of the level. So we get off of Mr. Bone's wild ride, which allows us to booze and cruise all the way to the moon, apparently. What is that music I hear? Oh golly, oh geo Gillibrand. I can't wait to see what the game has in store for me now after all those long combat arena. What? So I want everyone to meet my cool and original boss design named Mistral. This is essentially what the Patriots were doing the entire time. AI Dennis Prager was merely a distraction. These fuckers were synthesizing VTubers. So now we're forced to fight their robotic fleshlight and her huge testicles. This battle serves as a great moment to see just how far you've come as a player, both in ability and tolerance for the best game mechanic. Don't worry though, I'm still very bad. Thank God that shit's over. Now we can move on. God damn it. Really bold move making me fight Monsoon again after 20 minutes. And yeah, that includes the pants attack. Fucking Skeletron Prime looking ass. I guess you could say a good meme never dies, Jack. God, please take me out of this hell. I've had enough memes today. Look, it, it's Shadow and he's a nice cock. 
Pretend you didn't see anything today. Well, 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 if it ain't the feds. Unhand these brains, Jeff. They're children. And kids are cruel, Jack. They just lose touch with it at the ripe old age of 12. Wait, what? War crime this. Can't eat the drywall that. Microwaving mice is wrong, they say. What the fuck? Not to worry. Kids love video games. That's why I got them all set up spinning the wheel on my favorite gotcha games. How else is a man supposed to make his impact? You refrigerated a preschool for fucking JPEGs. <laughs> you think I made the market for gone, you jack? Like every casino's just a big old conspiracy? Bullshit! Gambling's just a part of who we are. I just market it to sexy children. Besides, demand for my products is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. Wait a minute, 9-11 is bad. Speak for yourself. Let's debate this on the roof. Looks like you're a gotcha player at heart. Is that because of my brain damage? No, it's because you go after children. And there ain't enough room in this preschool for the two of us. Now activity, we need to focus. Like I said, kids are cruel, Jack. And I love my lips. Welcome to the, the Bastard, featuring his tax shield. This battle is comprised of two distinct phases, each one easier than the last. And for some reason, a helicopter. Go, go, gadget, concealed carry. In his first phase, we simulate beating to death a cheeky goblin using money to compensate for his lack of human empathy. And by the second phase, it's quite obvious why he does it. This means it's up to us to cut each shield individually so we can play the game. And yes, you explode when you miss. Not only this, but his health is the length of a Cambodian life in 1977, meaning once once you get past that, the fight is basically over. In fact, it's quite easy to just not get past his shields ever and straight up kill him the fungular entertainment way, featuring Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bong Sorority. But if you do this, you're basically annihilating all enjoyment from orbit. I personally recommend standing there and just waiting for Jeff to, uh, present. So enjoy that second phase while you can, because this music is a gift from God. This is as bad shit as it looks. Can you tell that's my favorite song? I upgrade Raiden's item. As we board a helicopter, being driven by a... Uh, uh, doctor, how did you get an aircraft? <laughs> oh, credit card debt. Oh, of course. By the way, Raiden, do you remember that bank you sent to the past tense? It was like carving a pumpkin. Well, I think you missed one. I can't go to prison, Raiden. Why, because you play Genshin? No, Raiden, I'm a Nazi. Well, time to kill myself. What the fuck are you talking about? There's so much Hearts of Iron to play. I'm gonna not see you in a second. Not today, I guess. So, Doctor tries to kill Raiden anyways, and he responds by dividing the public. The hard way. So Raiden hits his head so badly that he lands in a, uh, a different game. The volume is a little bit up. You know, it's just slightly up. It's kind of loud. The graphics are um, a little different. Raiden heads to the gas station and uses the Zandatsu to cut through the environment dynamically. Yeah, that uh, that seems like how it works. This isn't even Metal Gear Rising anymore. I'm just playing Roblox games. Raiden survives the impact of a sedan when I was a child and gets utterly destroyed in Denver again, just like me on a Saturday night and is forced to play a previous level, but backwards. Thank you, level designer. Oh shit, a free bike. Don't worry, it's a rental. There are rumors that the Nords are attempting to capture the whole of Solstheim. Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always looking for new recruits. Raiden, you ran over a child nine miles back. What are you going to do? Good day. 
Oh, so now you decide to stop. I'm running late. Oh, don't worry, Raiden. The clown college is closer than you think. Yeah, it's right in front of me. <laughs> Kill yourself. Your ass will always be cringe, and my ass will always be thick. 497 North Parker Drive. Oh, good. <laughs> You're getting more based by the day. But I live with my mother. Is this her house? In this duel between two equally matched swordsmen of various speeds, it's up to us to defeat the weakest Brazilian male. This guy's out here making the rainforest look like a fucking joke. And the best part is, there's no bullshit in this fight. No minions, no shields, no monsoon telling me about fucking Among Us. It's just you, the sunset, and the soil. This is the best boss ever, holy shit. Right in disarms Wham Slam Bam Sam, which causes him to lose his McFucking marbles, and this somehow makes the fight harder. I mean, he straight up punches you like he's in goddamn Yakuza. Hey, Raiden! Look at this cool bug I found. Oh, right, and no need to flip out. Dude's got thunder thighs bigger than the power grid. Sam will test every single neuron in your corpus callosum with unrelenting and dangerous attacks strong enough to burn a hole in my Adderall supply. It's not a drug problem, it's a drug solution. And that is just phase one. God help you when he picks up that sword again. I don't have a choice. I challenge you to a debate. What the fuck? No. Dies of cringe. So Raiden goes to inspect his kill like a cat, only to realize that he has no cybernetic enhancement. This man dunked on Raiden harder than Kobe after he threw an AV unit, and he did it by juicing. Raiden steals his Clifford the Big Red Sword with a 5-star gotcha rarity and 33% crit rate. Raiden, you have a motorcycle. Why are you sprinting there? Why don't we just relax and turn on the radio? Would you like to have a Oh, yes. Yes, that's good. Sam, doll, give me some of that. Raiden McFucking breaks into NASA so he can go somewhere quickly. You see, the current president, George Bush, has made a horse race across America. That way, he can assemble all of the votes and activate the guns of the Patriot Act. But to understand what that means, we have to head to a previous game. It's Metal Gear Solid 4 again, and the Clinton Foundation controls the entire planet. The only thing standing in their way is the now unsolid snake, because he's old. David, I want you to meet someone very important to me. His name is Joe Biden. I have kept him alive using the the miracle of child sacrifice. We choose truth over facts! And I'm gonna choose death over life. Wow, that sure made everything easy to understand. Oh my god, it's my dad! Oh fuck up, I've returned! With a puppy. <laughs> yeah, anyways, do you know where daddy can buy some cigarettes? Last time you got those, you disappeared for 10 years. I know. So have you ever heard of NFT trading? No, uh, what is that? Well, you start by buying a monkey. Can you feed the monkey? Nah, but you can sell it for a rocket or some shit. That's great, honey. I'll be right back. Now with our transportation acquired, we blast off into fucking space. Our goal is to reach the utopia of Pakistan and stop the evil empire of America from initiating yet another military incursion called Operation Tecumseh. Finally, I have tracked down the great Satan to his source. Now this cliff will make me a martyr. Fuck. Jock Al-Radin goes to the base so as to convince the boot boys the error of their ways and appear on Indian news networks to justify nuclear conflict. Raiden, have you heard of the hit game Among Us? You need to vent, Raiden. I know it will be hard to be sus. You might notice something funny about this level. It's, uh, it's three rooms. The developers fucking gave up, so so do I. Raiden plays the real game until he finds the cast of iCarly. Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state when nearly 14 million years ago, Raiden discovers his dog after being made into a Family Guy episode. No, I wanted to feed you that chocolate. Before a gigantic McFucking crab evolves from the goddamn soil like a thousand-year-old cicada. What the fuck? Uh, well, if it isn't Sussy Jack... Bro, are you high? Let me check. Yes. High on American spirit! And there's nothing more American... <laughs> And there's nothing more American than shooting a man in this Walmart of a world. What is Walmart? It's heaven, Raiden. Check the internet lately. Raiden, hop on Twitter. You need to see this. Fuck, I hate this website. It's all fucking weep shit, Raiden. It doesn't make any sense. They're being distracted with other nonsense. These baboons don't even know they're at war with Pakistan. This one's calling me a Redditor. And that's just the beginning. E-girls, gotcha. 
memes, all just petty distractions so real men can get down to business. A mogus. And as you know, American imperialism is absolutely justified because we had a black president once. Before I fucking killed him. That's a nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. Imagine a world ride in free of cancel culture, where no one can call me out for my outlandish claims. A world where I can say the N-word! What? No. Catch it. I've got my own to debate online. In this battle against Microsoft Excel, we are faced with a boss too large to be fun and are relegated to enduring his onslaught from the inside of the Forever Box. This battle is a classic case of wait for him to do anything, just like Congress. And like Congress, when he does do something, it usually hurts you. Fortunately, this music is excellent and fits one-to-one -one with All I Want for Christmas. I'm not joking, although for some reason Raiden can parry several tons of crush force. Maybe my sister could have done that against my stepdad. Raiden suplexes the giant lobster for the second time today. Then he yanks off his arm to have a sword fight with it. Every other game is now worse because they don't have this. Check it out, Raiden. I just got vaccinated. Oh god, he's hot. Time to hit the gym. I don't have much. I don't know, Jack. Maybe your face could use some work. Hope you can afford healthcare, Raiden, because the taxpayer can't. It's funny because thousands of people die. Don't fuck with this, Senator! What? Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> Typical politician. Oh, cock. But no cum. What? Land of opportunity. American dream. It's all bullshit. The success of a nation is determined by materialistic and socioeconomic factors. Read a fucking book. <laughs> the truth, then. Us politicians aren't so trustworthy. We'll steal, make shit up, even lie to our voters. That's crazy. I know, it's very hard to believe. But that's just what the USA is all about, Jack. Not hiding our theft and murder, but embracing it. Whether it's votes, whether it's money, especially money. Fuck all these limp dick YouTubers and chicken shit Redditors. Fuck this 24-7 internet spew of Discord and VTuber bullshit! I'm gonna build a new future, Jack. One where we won't have to hide our stealing from anyone. And for that, I want you by my side. To build a world truly free from the consequences of our actions. Just like the Founding Fathers intended. What do you say, Raiden? Why not try to say it? Just once. I was wrong about you, Senator. You're not cringe. You're just fucking racist! What's it too? What the fuck was that? <laughs> God damn it! We're making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. I'm sorry, Senator, but this is my Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. You need to work on your fitness. What? Fitness dick in your mouth. My blood is red, white, and blue, Jack. I wonder what color yours is. Wait. Raiden. Brian Griffin. You can't give up yet. Think about every mentally deranged moron you fought up until this point. You've always had the strength to overcome. Whether it was violence in movies or sex on TV, I was always lucky there was a family guy. Even if your IQ was the room temperature of Alaska. You are the best Chia pet ever made. Sam put a fucking speaker in his sword. That's right. I finally uploaded my consciousness into my gaming setup. Raiden, the reason you're cringe is not because you ain't skilled, but because you ain't ballin' on that stank-ass Windows 95 pewter. Even in death, he's on crack. Just this once, I'll lend you my setup so you can know what it's like to be a real gamer. You're my little dog champ. I've always said my sword was a tool of justice. Not a weapon, but a way to bring back those good old-fashioned values upon which we used to rely. But this isn't my sword.
It's a fucking mistake. Hey, what's up guys? Maxor here. Welcome to the final bot. You know, he can be a... This guy's a little up. You know, he's pretty hard. We're here after extensive cutscenes to finally teach America that violence is never a solution. It's a question, and the answer is yes. Start praying, boy. Ah! Dwayne The Rock Johnson's immense strength and talent for volcanic eruptions comes from his ability to switch between a culture vulture and Obama at will, channeling the power of both races to whoop your ass back to Roblox. But among his many racial talents, our buff buzzard is fast, has a great singing voice, and possesses forklift certification. When you die, it will be in accordance with OSHA regulations. But after spending enough time in the oven, our athletic aesthetic disarms Raiden and reports to his chiropractor for an adjustment. This guy beats up more biracial people than a police officer. Armstrong even has the power to receive the light of Allah, which bestows upon him miraculous healing wisdom. Needless to say, this fight is fantastic, combining and expanding on every skill we've acquired on our long and arduous journey for a final battle that truly tests our mettle. This isn't even the first time Raiden has stabbed a politician to death, but if I get my way, it won't be the fucking last. You know, I'm starting to have a change of heart. Yeah, I can tell. That's why you're the best, Jack. You always wore my heart on your sleeve. <coughs> if I hear another goddamn pun. If you kill me, Jack, you'll finally be free. Free to follow your heart. Okay, that's it, buddy. And in other news, a United States senator tragically passed away this morning after a botched open heart surgery. Honey, can we please stop watching obituaries? You'll be on there next if you don't shut the fuck up. Oh shit, my Blackberry. Good news, Jonathan. We've got a new job opening for you. Ah, that's great, Doc. Yeah, anyways, it's for a ninja cyborg. Ninja cyborg? Doesn't Raiden do that? Oh yes, Raiden. Uh-huh. Well, um, the police might be after him for that vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> manslaughter, Doctor? I did that shit on purpose. So